Okay, good day, viewers. Um, it's a great day today in the city of Abuja. My name is Douglas Emeka Oko, consultant neurosurgeon with the Brain and Spine Surgery Consortium here in Abuja. Today, I'm going to be talking about emergency radiology reporting. This is something crucial and very beneficial to patient care, specifically patient safety and the lives of patients as well. I'll give you an example. So you have a 43-year-old lady. She's involved in, in a fall. She bangs her head, and then she goes to see a doctor. Initially, the lady, she's talking to you, but then after some time, she looks a little bit sleepy. Maybe after 30 minutes again, she's talking to you, OK? And then she sees the doctor, and the doctor says, hmm, there might be something. You banged your head. There might be something wrong. Maybe we should send you for a CT scan or any sort of scan of the brain. So, on the way, they get onto the ambulance, they get to the place where they're supposed to do this scan, probably a diagnostic center, probably maybe one of the public hospitals, and then they roll this 40-something-year-old lady into the scanner. Okay? Now, the lady has the scan. After the scan, what happens? The radiographer says, oh, we need the radiologist to have a look at the scan. And then the scans are passed to the radiologist to have a look, look at it. And then what we found in Abuja, and probably maybe other cities as well, and probably other, other hospitals and medical facilities within um, the area, is that you have a radiologist, has a look at this scan, probably sees what we call an extradural hematoma. What's an extradural hematoma? A big blood clot just outside the canvas covering, or what, we, what you can call the kanda of the brain. Okay, And this big blood clot is causing lots of pressure on the brain. And what does this radiologist do? He says, extradural, and then he lets the patient and whoever brought the patient ambulance just goes away like that. Now, what is the problem with this? One of the key issues with this or any kind of scan or, or any image of any part of the body that is an emergency and a radiologist does not specifically dictate or guide what should happen next or help with what will happen next is that this patient can go back to maybe a general practitioner or a physiotherapist or a nurse or somebody or some other healthcare professional who doesn't understand the import and the importance of such an emergency situation. And then we can actually lose patients that way. So what's the key message here? The key message is that as a radiologist, you look at the scan of the brain, any part of the body, and you think it's an emergency, immediately you document that very clearly, either on your report or actually make a phone call to the person who has referred that patient for that scan and say, man, this is an emergency. The patient should go to see an obstetrician. The patient should go to see a, a neurosurgeon. The patient should go to see a spinal surgeon, depending on what that emergency is. Ladies and gentlemen, healthcare professionals, this is fundamental and critical. Thank you so much for listening today. Ciao, ciao.